Pro Mesa Acer. Hey there everybody, my name is Mo Shang and this is a preview of a brand new synth from Groovesizer, the Groovesizer TP2. Now the TP2, unlike our uh, previous instruments, the RID and the multiboard, uh, which were based on uh, 8-bit Arduinos, well the TP2 is based on uh, the Arduino Due board that you can see down here. So actually this instrument is a, is a well, I guess you could call it a shield, in uh, Arduino terms, a shield for uh, an Arduino DUI board. So we'll be selling these as a kit and you supply your own DUI board. So uh, what we have here is uh, a synthesizer with uh, four, uh, four uh, no polyphony, well, polyphony, I should call it paraphony, <laughs> uh, because... Uh, yeah, only four voices, no fifths. Um, four voices and uh, a paraphony because there's only one uh, uh, envelope and one filter. But we'll get to that in a bit. Let's uh, just have a quick look at the uh, hardware. Uh, so we have the DUA board at the bottom. Connections for USB, uh, for uh, flashing new firmware and the like, and uh, obviously changing it yourself if you feel up to it. Uh, and the power is also on the DUA board. And then uh, on the back we have... Uh, uh, MIDI in and out. Uh, we have uh, your uh, uh, audio out on a single stereo um, uh, eighth uh, inch jack and an SD card, which we'll get to in a little bit. Um, we have these five potentiometers. Actually, uh, this is not uh, an encoder. That would m possibly have been a better idea, but uh, it's it's a, a potentiometer. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen uh, small tactile buttons. And as you can see, they're arranged like a, like a keyboard, you know, like a piano keyboard. So uh, you can play uh, a full octave on on those. And it's only for um, testing out things. Uh, as you work on a patch, but uh, obviously, if you want more playability, you can, uh, you know, add in a, a MIDI, uh, a full-size MIDI keyboard of your liking. So let's have a quick look at what's going on here. We have, uh, like I said, those four, uh, four notes, uh, paraphony. Uh, well, uh, each each of these voices uh, has two oscillators. So we have oscillator one, oscillator two over there, and. Uh, Let's just have a look at oscillator one. Uh, I can change the octave. For that oscillator, I can change the wave shape from sine to triangle, saw, square with uh, the, anytime you find a, a spinning arrow like that, it means you can uh, go in and change another parameter. So here we have the pulse width. For the square wave. Uh, also you can uh, automate that, I'll show you that a bit later on. Um, and then, uh, very handy, uh, you have a user a user uh, oscillator which is silent now because these user uh, uh, wave shapes you get from the SD card and I'm using um, a collection by uh, Adventure Kid. He's made a, a, a collection of 4,000 uh, single cycle wave shapes um, and I've taken a subset of those just because it's uh, it was easier to rename. Uh, you, you only have eight characters on uh, on uh, the filing system here so uh, those were just easier to rename but you can bring the other 2000 in as well so uh, there I have uh, 2000 of the Adventure Kid uh, wave shapes and to get to those again there's a spinning arrow so you go in uh, there's your root directory and this is the the folder so there are uh, 20 folders each with 100 wave shapes so let's uh, pick folder 13 and now I can select one of the wave shapes. I want to work with the filter a bit later on, so let's choose something quite resonant or with lots of uh, high frequencies. Okay, and uh, same thing, we can go and uh, change oscillator 2 also to one of the. Oops, I had a. Uh... Yeah, I should have shown you. <laughs> you have detune there, and uh, I managed to detune it by, by mistake. Also, you have level for that oscillator and uh, octave I showed you already. Uh, Detune and octave, those are also uh, automatable or uh, modulatable. I'll, f I'll show you that a bit later on. Okay, let's choose another uh, wave shape for oscillator 2. So, oscillator 1 would, if I use, user 1 would be the one that I just set for oscillator 1. User 
2, you can now pick another one for, for oscillator 2. There we go, that should do fine. And uh, otherwise, oscillator 2 is just is the same octave uh, level and detune. Next up, we have a filter. Now, this is a, a digital filter, and uh, some people <laughs> won't like that too much, but uh, I think it sounds uh, fine for what it is. Uh, let's have a listen. I'm going to switch it on uh, in low pass uh, mode at the moment. So I bring up the resonance to all the way up. Uh, there's your cutoff. So I think quite a useful, useful folder. Uh, that's low pass. We have a uh, high pass foldering, as well as uh, a band pass mode. Okay, switch off uh, for now. Up next, our uh, envelope. Uh, just normal ADSR envelope, uh, but only one. So uh, whenever you trigger. Uh, I have three notes pressed down. When I add the fourth, it's going to re-trigger the envelope because we only have only have the one envelope for for all four of those voices. Okay, so uh, uh, ADSR, and uh, also you can use uh, you will see a bit later on. But again, you can use the ADSR as a, a modulation modulation source. Up next is our uh, LFO, which. Uh, is better to demonstrate if I actually assign it to something. So let's go to the final little bit, and that's the modulation bit. Um, our source here is LFO. I can also select envelope, uh, like I said before. So LFO and envelope, your two options at the moment. Um, oscillator 1, uh, that's the destination, that will be uh, detuned. So let's keep it at a ridiculously uh, high like this so I can just go uh, back and uh, show off the fold, uh, the LFO a little bit more so our rate right now I've low range which makes that the slowest oscillator speed but you also have a, a high range and then uh, you can go really slow Okay, and in terms of shapes, let me just go back to low range. In terms of shapes, we have sine the same, same as before, sine, triangle, saw, square, uh, but much fun. <laughs> you can use those same uh, wave shapes of the SD card uh, for uh, as the shape of the LFO. So let's let's load a user shape and see what happens with that. User one is the one we set for oscillator one. Uh, user two, the one we set for oscillator two. User three. Now you can select another, a third uh, wave shape from the SD card. Interesting things can happen. So let's go out and uh, have a listen. So interesting stuff that you get uh, can get from those wave shapes uh, if you use it as uh, as an LFO. Okay, back uh, into our mod. Uh, let me just set it back to uh, something like a sine wave. Okay, I'm gonna just bring it back down. So that was uh, detuned for oscillator one as destination, uh, os oscillator 2, I'm oh, sorry, oscillator 2 destination, filter cutoff, uh, obviously we can do that as well, so let me bring it up and go bring back the filter. Okay, That's kind of a normal thing that you would uh, want to do with the modulation. Uh, bring it back down another uh, that would be amplitude so you can obviously do uh, tremolos and the like and uh, see what else we have Ah, oh, pulse width so if one of our oscillators is set to square or both uh, 
you can set the pulse width as a, or modulate the pulse width. Which, uh, you know, adds a nice bit of movement there. And uh, let's see what else we've got. And that that was it. Let it. Let me see if I did all of them. I might add more later, or you can, you know, it's open source code, so you can add your own later if you like uh, and feel brave. Um, so yes, also envelope that you can use as a, as a modulation source. Um, good thing about the envelope is that you can use it uh, uh, negative or positive. So uh, uh, you can, you know, if you want to do uh, use, uh, say, a long attack as uh, to drop the pitch of an oscillator, you can do that uh, by setting, uh, you know, by setting it in reverse or a, a negative value. Let me do that quickly and see if I can uh, quickly show that off. So a very long attack time and uh, oscillator one. take some experimenting but you can uh, get some interesting results again uh, for the cutoff uh, oh envelope rate uh, well actually uh, LFO rate so you can modulate the LFO rate with um, with your uh, 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 envelope <laughs> that took long to get out okay uh, let's go back to uh, the main you know, if I have, let, me, let me just show you how this works uh, I have a main system uh, at, on the far left of of this potentiometer, and then your uh, right now we're set to synth. You could change that uh, with this potentiometer here. Uh, synth ARP. I show you this, but it's not implemented yet, and that's why this instrument is not yet available. ARP and sequencer. These I still have to write along with the preferences. So I'm pretty far with the synthesizer bit, but uh, our arpeggiator and sequencer are not yet uh, implemented. So uh, on our main. Uh, on our main uh, screen here, our ma main menu screen, you can load and save patches as well. So if I go in and choose a choose a folder, uh, my patches folders are here at the back. So patches one, I go into that. There we go. So when you save a new patch, it will uh, it will give it just a consecutive number name. So if I, you know the final one here is 12, so if I were to save one, I would save it as 13. And uh, I don't have a way yet. Uh, I'm still considering doing it, but uh, I don't have a way to, to to actually give it names here. But it's so easy to just take out the SD card and rename it on you know on a PC or a Mac. Um, that I, I may just not implement that. Uh, and these ones that do, oops, where am I? These ones that do have names at the moment, these are uh, ones that I use with my wing controller, but uh, uh, my wing controller is broken at the moment. I can, I can show it off to you. Uh, so yeah, that was a basic uh, overview of the Groovesizer TV2. And uh, like I say, it will be available uh, in another month or two. And uh, the thing, uh, like I said, is this will be a shield and you'll uh, supply your own uh, Arduino Due board, which uh, I think Arduino Due's go uh, for about 50 US dollars, and uh, you can find cheap clones on eBay if you're feeling uh, brave. Um, cheaper clones, and uh, the shield, uh, the kit, I'm not so sure yet, but I'm hoping it will be about 70, say 70 US dollars uh, shipping included. So that's that's what I'm aiming for with the shield, and that was a. Uh, Preview of the Groovesizer TB2. Thanks for watching.